Archaeologists believe that the first ever human civilization came into existence in the Mesopotamia. This was the area between the Euphrates and Tigris rivers. It is estimated that this civilization dates back to around 10,000 BC. It is believed that this was the first time that humans had found agriculture and started to domesticate animals. From that civilization, humans began to spread to different parts of the world. Many new civilizations were formed during the subsequent centuries. It is believed that over the course of human history, there have been hundreds if not thousands of civilizations that came into existence and then vanished from the surface of the earth. Some of these civilizations were destroyed as a result of natural disasters, while others were conquered by their enemies. Archaeologists have been able to discover the hidden ruins or artifacts belonging to many of these civilizations. Most of these civilizations have been identified as a result of their discovered ruins, but there are some civilizations that the archaeologists only know because of the various texts discovered in other civilizations about them. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at these five mysterious ancient civilizations that you've probably never heard of. Kush Pharaonic Egypt is considered to be amongst the most famous ancient civilizations. Archaeologists have found some of the biggest ancient ruins that belong to the Egyptian civilization and have also uncovered thousands of artifacts and texts belonging to them. However, with all the limelight going towards Pharaonic Egypt, some of the other powerful civilizations that lived at that time in the neighboring areas of ancient Egypt are often forgotten. One such civilization is known as the Kush civilization. This kingdom of Kush was located in northeast Africa. This is the same area where modern-day Sudan is located. The main cities of the kingdom of Kush were situated along the Nile River. The Kush were the rivals of the Egyptians and the two civilizations had a long history of warfare. Over time, the kingdom of Kush became very powerful and it was able to conquer Egypt. The success of the kingdom of Kush is quite puzzling for the modern-day historian. It is believed that the kingdom did not have any of the conventional features of the more complex societies. For example, it did not have a system for writing, a large bureaucracy, or any major urban centers. However, it was still able to defeat the Egyptians and control Upper Egypt, which seems to be an anomaly to the historians. Despite their success and military might, the Kingdom of Kush was not able to maintain its control over Upper Egypt. It's believed that the Egyptians defeated the Kush in 1070 BC, and this was the end of the powerful Kingdom of Kush. Indus Valley Civilization The Indus Valley Civilization was located in the area of present-day Pakistan and northwestern India. The Indus River flows through this area and it is believed that the ancient civilization utilized the water from the river for farming. Historians believe that this civilization lasted from 3300 BCE to 1300 BCE. It is considered to be one of the earliest civilizations of the region. The ancient ruins of the civilization have been discovered across Pakistan and in some areas of North India. One of the largest cities belonging to this civilization was discovered in 1842. This city is known as Harappa. Another major find relating to this civilization was the discovery of the city of Mohenjo-Daro. Both these discoveries led to the excavation of the areas where these cities were located. Archaeologists were able to discover thousands of ancient artifacts from the sites. Indus Valley Civilization is believed to be a highly organized civilization. The discovered cities of Harappa and Mohenjo-Dar feature great urban planning, water supply systems, drainage systems and baked brick houses. The historians have also discovered that the civilization was using various advanced techniques in the field of handicraft and metallurgy. Historians believe that the decline of the Indus Valley civilization had started around 1800 BCE as a result of the drying of the river or because of a great flood. 
The exact reasons for the decline of the Indus Valley civilization are not known. However, it is believed that over time it became impossible to sustain the economy of the region and as a result the entire cities were gradually abandoned. The Kingdom of Aksum The Kingdom of Aksum was an African kingdom situated in the area where present-day Eritrea and Ethiopia now reside. According to historians, this kingdom existed between 100 AD and 940 AD. The city of Aksum was its capital. It was a very prosperous civilization due to expertise in cattle herding and agriculture. This civilization also had control over a number of key trade routes. Due to its significance in regional trade, the kingdom had over time developed huge reserves of gold and ivory. The kingdom also built a number of impressive monuments. Some of the stone main monuments are still standing to this day. This kingdom of Aksum had its own coinage. The kingdom adopted Christianity immediately after the Roman Empire did. This kingdom continued thriving through the early part of the Middle Ages. However, the rise of Islam and the conquest of the Red Sea coastline by the Arabs resulted in the Kingdom of Aksum becoming weak over time. The decline of the Kingdom of Aksum started in the 7th century. A major reason for its decline was the tough competition from the Arab traders who started controlling the key trade routes that were previously controlled by the Kingdom of Aksum. In addition, it also started facing rivalry from other regional settlers like the Beja. This kingdom has also been the home of many legends. Some of the legends associated to this mysterious kingdom include the legend of the lost kingdom of Queen of Sheba and the legend of mythical Prester John. Many people also believe that this kingdom was the resting place of one of the most important artifacts of history, the Ark of the Covenant. Yam One of the most mysterious ancient civilizations is the Yam civilization. It is believed to be an African kingdom. Historians came to know about the existence of the Yang kingdom through the various ancient Egyptian texts. These texts show that the people of Yam were in contact with the old kingdom of Egypt. They had military as well as trade contacts with the Egyptians. However, this is all that has ever been known about this mysterious civilization. Archaeologists and scholars have been trying for many years to find more facts about the Kingdom of Yam and its inhabitants. The biggest problem that they have faced so far is that the exact location of the Kingdom of Yam is not known. There are some clues about its location in ancient texts. However, scholars have varying interpretations of these clues. Most of the clues about the Kingdom of Yam have come from the inscriptions on the tomb of an Egyptian explorer named Harkov. According to the inscriptions, Yam was a land of ebony, incense, leopard skins, boomerangs and elephant tusks. The texts on the tomb give account of Harkov's journeys to the Yam Kingdom. These texts tell that it took him more than seven months to get to the Kingdom of Yam in Africa. This remarkable mystery of the location of the Yang Kingdom has baffled archaeologists for quite some time now. The Mitanni Kingdom The Mitanni state existed in the area of present-day northern Iraq and Syria. It is believed to have existed from 1500 BC to 1200 BC. At the peak of its power, the Mitanni Kingdom controlled the trade routes around the Euphrates River. They also had control over the upper Tigris River. The Mitanni kingdom had several key allies in the region and was able to exert strong political influence in the region. They had great agriculture without the need for artificial irrigation. And they were quite famous for their large herds of sheep, cattle, goats and horses. The Mitanni people were famed charioteers and horsemen. They are believed to be the innovators of the light war chariots. They were able to create chariots that were easily maneuverable and moved faster. One of the excavations in present-day Turkey found what is described as the oldest horse training manual. It was written on four tablets and had 1,080 lines. The manual was written by a person named Kikuli, who was a Mitanni horse trainer. 
It is believed that this manual was written in 1345 BC. Historians have been able to find a lot about the Mitanni Kingdom thanks to the various ancient ruins and artifacts found over time. The Mitanni kings were of Indo-Aryan origins, but they used the language known as Hurrian. It was the language used by the local people. Kurta, Tushrata, Aratama, Shatana, and Wazashata are some of the Mitanni kings who ruled the kingdom. Historical artifacts and inscriptions show that the Mitanni kingdom was conquered by the Assyrian Empire and the last king of the Mitanni kingdom, Shatawara, was captured and taken to Ashur by the Assyrian forces. There, he was made to swear an oath of allegiance to the Assyrian rulers. But what do you think of these five mysterious ancient civilizations? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos.